so friends let me move on to set number one on the topic algebra right so friends here is question number one two numbers x and y such that their sum is equals to three times their difference then the value of 3xy divided by 2 into x square minus y square is so friends our target to find uh, what is the value of that expression right and they have given a condition that two numbers are x and y such that their sum is equals to three times their difference I think by using this condition, let me find what is the value of x and y. Listen here friends, two numbers are x and y, right? Such that their sum is equals to, so sum of two numbers will be x plus y. This is equal to three times their difference. So this can be written as sum of two numbers is equals to three times their difference. So this can be written as x plus y is equals to 3x minus 3y. So finally, when we bring this 3y towards left hand side, the resultant will be 4y. So 4y is equal to 2x. So this can be done as 2. So finally, we can say that x divided by y is equal to 2 divided by 1. So the resultant values are x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. So finally, we found what is the value of x and y. Now we need to substitute the value of x and y in the given expression to find the complete value, right? So when's 3xy? So 3 into, we know that the value of x will be 2. So x and y will be 1 divided by 2 into x square. So 2 square will be 4. So minus of y square. So y square will be 1 square. The result will be 1 so 3 into 2 will be 6 so 2 4 minus 1 will be 3 so friends 6 divided by 6 the resultant will be 1 so finally we can say that option number B that is 1 will be the answer for question number 1 question number 2 so 3 power x plus 2 plus 7 is equals to 250 then find the value of x so friends listen here friends there are uh, various methods to solve this question either you can substitute the value of x by using an options or otherwise you can directly simplify this this can be written as 3 power x plus 2 is equals to 250 minus 7 so 3 power x plus 2 is equals to 243 so friends uh, i think 243 will be 3 power 5 so this can be written as 3 power x plus 2 is equals to 3 power 5 so when we cancel this the resultant will be x plus 2 is equal to 5 so x is equal to 5 minus 2 so x is equal to 3 so finally we can say that option for question number 2 that is answer for question number 2 will be be 3 which is option number b will be your answer friends if you need you can solve this or otherwise we can directly substitute the value of x by using the options right so listen here friends when we substitute the value of uh, which is option number d will be 1 right so when we substitute x is equal to 1 here the resultant will be 3 power 3 plus 7 right so 3 power 3 will be 27 plus 7 definitely it will not be equal to 250 so option number d is eliminated so when we substitute option number b that is 3 so when we substitute x is equal to 3 so 3 plus 2 will be 5 so 3 power 5 will be 243 so 243 plus 7 will be 250 which is lhs is equal to rhs so finally we can say that option number b that is 3 will be our answer so remember that always try to to learn the conventional method if there is any shortcut try to apply the shortcut in the exams question number three if p is equal to 999 then find the value of cube root of p into p square plus 3p plus 3 plus 1 right so friends our target to find what is the value of this expression right and they have given value of p is equal to 999 so friends, when we substitute the value of p is equal to 999 here it will be a lengthy procedure right so let me do one thing friends listen here friends this can be written as cube root of so p into p square will be p cube right and uh, 3p into p will be 3p square and the 3 into p will be 3p plus 1 is equals to question mark so friends this expression looks like a format called a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3b square a friends can you able to understand this concept so this expression looks like a format called a cube plus 3a square b plus 3b square a plus b cube you know that this formula will be a plus b the whole cube so friends a cube and uh, this is b cube right so 3a square b plus 3 a b square right so finally this expression can be done as a plus b the whole cube we know that the value of a will be p and the value of b will be 1 right so finally this expression can be written as cube root of p plus 1 the whole cube is equals to question mark so friends listen here friends it's a cube root right so this can be written as p plus 1 the whole cube and this cube root can be written as 1 divided by 3 is equals to question mark so that we can easily cancel 3 and 3 so the resultant will be p plus 1 is equal to question mark we know that the value of p will be 999 so 999 plus 1 will be 1000 so finally we got the answer for this expression that is option number a 1000 question number 4 so 5 power root x plus 12 power root x is equal to 13 power root x then x is equal to 
so friends our target to find what is the value of x right so i think uh, this question can be solved by only using option friends no other way so let me move on to option number a that is 9 if option number a 9 is the answer right so we need to substitute x is equal to 9 here so when root of 9 root of 9 will be 3 and uh, 12 root of 9 will be 3 again so 13 cube so finally this can be done as 5 cube plus 12 cube is equal to 13 cube i'm just substituting the value of x is equal to 9 which is option number a right so 5 cube will be 125 and uh, 12 cube will be 1728 and 13 cube will be 2197 so friends when we add both the numbers the resultant should be this right definitely when we add both the numbers i think lhs is not equal to rhs right so for while substituting option number a where lhs is not equal to rhs so we can say that option number a is eliminated so let me move on to option number b that is 4 when we substitute x is equal to 4 here so root of 4 will be 2 so this can be done as 5 square and uh, root of 4 will be 2 that is 12 square is equals to 13 square so 12 square will be 144 5 square will be 25 is equals to 169 so finally when we add both the numbers 169 is equal to 169 so lhs is equal to rhs so finally we can say that answer for question number 4 that is option number b4 question number 5 if a is equal to 0 0.25 and b is equal to minus 0 0.05 and c is equal to 0 0.5 so our target to find what is the value of this expression right so friends i think uh, when we substitute value of a is equal to 0 0.25 and b is equal to 0 0.05 so we need to square the number right it's a lengthy procedure friends so let me do one thing let me simplify the given expression listen here friends the denominator part looks like a square b square minus 2ab so we can say that the denominator part looks like a minus b the whole square and similarly the numerator part is b square c square 2bc right so friends i am just going to simplify the numerator and denominator right so this can be done as a square minus i am just going to take minus as common so this can be done as b square plus c square plus 2bc so divided by so this can be done as a square plus b square minus 2ab then minus c square i think uh, this can be written as a square minus of so b square plus c square plus 2bc can be written as b plus c the whole square so divided by and similarly here it is a square b square minus 2ab can be written as a minus b the whole square so a minus b the whole square and here it is minus c square so friends listen here friends the numerator part and the denominator part looks like a square minus b square right i think everyone knows this formula a square minus b square will be a plus b into a minus b so the numerator looks like a square minus b square and the denominator similarly a square minus b square so a square minus b square will be a plus b and a minus b so a plus b will be a plus b plus c and a minus b will be a minus b minus c so divided by and similarly here it is a square minus b square so a plus b and a minus b so a plus b will be a minus b plus c so into a minus b right so a minus b will be a minus b minus c so friends i think we can easily cancel a minus b minus c numerator and the denominator a minus b minus c so friends now i think uh, we can substitute the value of a b c in this expression so that we can easily find the value right we know that a is equal to 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 and b is equal to minus 0 0.05 so this can be written as minus 0 0.05 and c is equal to 0 0.5 so plus 0 0.5 so divided by and a minus b plus c so a minus b so a minus of minus b will be 0 0.05 and the plus c will be 0 0.5 so friends we need to add all the values right so i think uh, uh, the 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 will be 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 minus uh, this can be done i think uh, zero numerator will be 0 0.7 right so 0 0.7 divided by the denominator 5 6 7 right so this can be done as 75 minus so 0 0.8 right so 255 0 0.5 so this can be 0 0.8 friends now when we cancel this the resultant will be 7 by 8 so i think option number a that is 7 by 8 will be your answer so friends finally in this set number one we have solved five different questions on algebra so don't forget to watch remaining questions on the topic algebra right so thank you so much for watching this video so kindly share this video to your friends those who are preparing for ssc exams